Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today, I know I'm starting to get off a little bit weird and in a weird spot, but I did my makeup for starters. What do you think? I really like it. I've never done a look this color before, and I really like it. But today, we're going to be doing a day in my life um, for my business. Basically, I'm going to be doing some stuff for my launch that I'm having on January 4th for Lust Maniac. Yeah. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. I've already done a few things, including writing up a business plan and everything that I need to do until my launch, which is on this sheet of paper right here. And I'm going to take you guys with me. It's really hard to, y'all saw that? Sorry, it was falling. It's really, Jesus. Ah. Okay, well. Okay, like I was saying, it's really hard to, you know, give up your job and say you want to become an entrepreneur and we're doing it. So let's see how it goes. And I'm gonna take you guys on the journey along with me and anything that I learned along the way, I will be sharing. Only if it works though. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I don't know why I just cut off like that. Oh, it's so irritating when it does that. But yeah, I was saying I'm only going to share tips that work. Because a lot of people will give people small business tips that don't work. So, if anything works and my business blows up, then y'all will be the first to know. <laughs> but yeah, I did my makeup like hours ago. And then I laid in the bed for a few minutes and I'm finishing it. I don't do nothing but my lips and brush my eyebrows with this. And I literally cut my eyebrows today and I cut the end off of this one on accident. But it's okay because eyebrows grow back, right? Right. Yeah, after I do this, I'm gonna get up and work on my business. I'm just using my same old Milani Duo combination. And yeah, now I'm just blabbering on. So let's go ahead and get started. And now that I have all my lips, we can go ahead and get started for real. Okay, I try to put you at a semi good enough angle so you can see what I'm about to show you. I'm just going to show you guys what I've done so far and kind of give you an idea of what I'm going to do until my lunch. Ignore my messy room in the background. It's a lot going on back there but mind your business. Okay so for starters I'm doing bags, tote bags, makeup bags, and these little mirror trays. I've already done the trays so let me show you. Oh, okay. They look like these. Here are a few designs. This is one. This is one. This is one. Don't ask what happened to this one. I was a dummy and I stepped on it. But yeah, I'm keeping that one. Obviously, I'm not going to sell it. It was broken. I was gonna show you guys all of them, but that's enough. Those are what the trays are gonna look like. And next, I'm making tote bags. I already have a few that I've made. I made one for my girlfriend, Ariel. I'll insert a picture of that one. And I made one for my sister. I'll insert a picture of that one. And then I have mine. Let me get it. I have mine, which is just like this, which is just a plain one. But I make them with designs on them, which you, will have seen in the pictures and i made this a long time ago it's really lasting though and i'll be turning this thing up but good quality i tell you right now i've only done one, two, three, four, five, six of them and only a few of them i've started stenciling so i stenciled the label i mean <laughs> i stencil the words only if you can see so they can all look similar you can all you know it's kind of like the mark of my brand so I stenciled a few of them. Now I just have to put the designs on them. <sighs> and then I have to finish stenciling on the other ones. But other than that, those are what the tote bags are looking like. And then I have these. I have these little makeup bags. This is one that I made. Now I've used it for school supplies when I was in school. I did this side first, but I don't like this side. I like this side though. But these are also going to be customized with different designs. Or maybe I'll make these similar. I don't know yet, but I think they're going to be customized with different designs. And they're little makeup pouches, so. There's that, and yeah. I also have some canvases, so I'm gonna be selling some painting, some original artworks, and we'll see where that goes. Oh gosh, this is gonna be so fun. It's already fun, don't get me wrong. Like, it's already fun. And I have a few marketing things I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna do a photo shoot, which I plan to do the photo shoot on the 2nd, January 2nd, or the 1st, depending on how quickly I can finish these bags, but, 
I've been working all day and night for these. Like, girl, this is not an easy process. And then my sister wrote out some photo shoot ideas and it's really good. Honestly, never seen that like before and I'm about to do it. It's gonna be so cute, I'm so excited. But I'm gonna do all the photo shoots in one day and I'm gonna edit them starting that day and going into the next day. That is what the business is looking like. It's called Les Maniac Brand and yeah, it's gonna be so fun. I can't wait to launch, I'm so excited. <sighs> okay, so a little background on the business. I already pre-launched it before and it didn't do well and i think it didn't do well because i didn't do enough for it i literally just made a page which you should follow at less maniac brand and i just promoted it on my own page and i actually few of my friends to promote it but that's not enough you know i have to go on different platforms and do a whole bunch of different things and the page i made was on instagram so yeah so we're gonna do that type of stuff i have to make some infographic things like pre-made things to post on the page and on the story and I'm gonna be making some of those today. Oh my god, I hope you can see the chocolate on my shirt. So, on to the business. Well, for starters, if I do have any entrepreneur tips, I would say definitely to write out a business plan and ideas and everything that comes to your mind. So you have it and you don't forget it. Cause I know a lot of times people think of ideas and stuff and they don't really remember it and they don't stick to it. But if you write it down and stick to it, then what can I say? I think it's gonna do pretty well. I saw this one TikTok and this girl said, as someone else said before, your business only grows as much as you put work into it. I've been working, so hopefully this will work out. But yeah, I'm gonna start with these bags. I'm gonna finish some of the stenciling on the bags that I didn't finish. These three, I did three, I think that are done. A few of them are done with the labels, so. I have to do these three. And let's do that. So just one second ago, I decided I want to make this a series. So this is going to be the next series on my channel. We just did Vlogmas and now we're going to do an entrepreneur journey series. This will be episode one. That's so exciting. But this series isn't going to be that long. It's just going to be short to start. I'm not going to say these are my only entrepreneur videos I'm going to do, but to start, it'll just be up to my launch and maybe I'll do like an update video after my launch and stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs> But I think it started, I brought my table over here. Oh look, the angle works. But you can see all my mess in the background. I'm sorry, I have a lot of art stuff back there. Disregard it. But yeah, so I'm gonna do this. Begin to hand paint. I need to get my materials and I'll be right back. So I was gonna time lapse me doing all three of these bags, but I realized that's not what this video is about. So I'm just gonna finish doing these three bags and then I'm going to maybe move to a canvas or something. But yeah, I need to do some graphics for the page. So I'm gonna do that and then I will come back and show you guys. I'll probably show you guys what I'm doing for the graphics and you know, how I'm doing them and all. Maybe I'll screen record it or something. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll screen record it, we'll see. Okay, so I finished all of those bags. Oop, hopefully I didn't see all my dorm stuff back there, but this is what they look like. I don't know if you can see them. They're just the first layer thingy me bobber. And now I'm trying to work on these mini makeup bags, but I'm looking for some inspiration on what exactly I should put on them. I have an idea, but I don't know what exactly. So yeah, um, I think I know what I'm going to do for the most part though, unless I make them custom bags where I just like, put people's names on them or something but i don't know i guess we'll see but i'm gonna take a little break because my back hurts and honestly i think this might be it for the night on the actual physical or the art part well not for the night but for now it's only like i think it's like 6 30 ish but i'm about to take a little bit of a longer break i'm gonna watch an episode of are you the one on netflix and then i'm going to write out some stuff for my business and make some graphics for my page because i feel like that's a really important part that people leave out and i want to have some pre-made so i can just push them out easily on my schedule if that makes sense so yeah i'm gonna make some graphics and then i need to plan out my photo shoot that i'm gonna have for all my products 
and yeah so. <laughs> that's pretty much what i got going right now i'm gonna probably watch a few videos myself on entrepreneur stuff to see if i can get any tips or anything like that so yeah if you are still in my video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my video and i'll see you again in my next one so stay tuned for the entrepreneur series part two but for now